Hi everyone, welcome back. We're starting off here in Thorpe Ness, which is crazy when you think about it because it's a village that was created by one single person, a Scottish playwright who used to love coming here in the summer and he created what you see today. It is a pretty brief but beautiful tour and we'll take a look closer at that house behind me, which is, I would say, one of the most desirable places to stay in Suffolk. It's the house in the clouds. It used to be a water tower. We'll look into that a little bit further. As always, if you're brand new here, please make sure you hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and let's start the tour. So the tour starts here in front of some of these beautiful houses and many of these that you'll see you can actually rent and stay here in Thorpe Ness as well. I would say you know a typical British countryside village in all its glory with the added bonus of course that it's by the sea. Just look at this. Some of these houses in Thorpe Ness are just so pretty. It is like picking up a book of nursery rhymes or fairy tales. And it's just literally like Rapunzel is hanging out the window with her hair hanging down. Imagine staying in that one. Look at that, you can actually walk under here. This just seems really random. Looks like someone's bought it. And if we take a right down here, we'll head to the famous house in the clouds and the windmill. Look at this cute little house. Now I get so much stick for calling things Americanized, but just saying. So when you see the sign, it really does come across like a magical house. And if you stayed here with children, they would truly believe it. A house built for the fairies. So believe it or not, the house in the clouds used to be a water tower, which supplied the water for the whole entire village. And astonishingly, even though it looks pretty good condition today, this was built back in 1923. These apples are looking pretty good. Shall I take one? <laughs> And before you say it, they're probably cooking apples, right? How can you tell the difference between cooking apples and normal apples? I'm not quite sure. Apart from the bitterness, how do you know? So the golf course is down there and as we come up this stretch of road, we come across a beautiful site really, with the house in the clouds on the left and Thorpe Ness Windmill on the right. And this is just truly beautiful. It really is. And especially with the blue skies, I think it stands out even more. Actually goes around in the wind. You can see here the tracks to catch the wind just right. And what's great around Thorpe Ness, there's loads of these little history boards telling you all about the past and literally how long the house in the clouds has actually been here for. You can see them working on the water tower there to turn it into a house. So this area just up here is known as the Haven and the Windlands. These houses are actually part of the original holiday cottages that were first built in Thorpe Ness between 1911 and 1914. No two are alike in design and each were fully equipped with some good furniture. Apparently there was cutlery, running water and gas, which was a plus back then. Uh, and every comfort 
and every comfort you could imagine to allow for, apparently, as it was advertised, as a carefree holiday so you can enjoy many of the outdoor events and activities available in the village. I can't say I've ever been to a village before where all the houses are so different and all so pretty at the same time. And of course the added bonus of Thorpe Ness, not only is it a beautiful village, but it's also by the sea. So let's go and check out the beach. I think it's a shingle beach here from what I can remember. Yeah, I can see the shingle here. It's very windy today, so you'll have to excuse the sound. Look at that. Can't say I'm a massive fan of shingle beaches. They're not very nice to lay on, are they? Quite a busy day here as well on the beach. So just over there in the distance is Albrough, where we're heading next. And literally just here by the beach is the Thorpe Ness Country Club, which was built back in 1912. And obviously visitors and holidaymakers came here to enjoy tennis courts, bowling, and also the ballroom that they've got too. Okay, so I'm gonna sit in the right position now, in the middle. Whoa. <laughs> I'm away from everyone else, that's a good thing. Problem is, is these don't, they keep moving, so I don't wanna let them go. Now that I'm in the right position, let's see how I get on. <laughs> this is really difficult to do, holding a camera and trying to do this at the same time. <laughs> it's not working. Trying to row, this is just not going on. So this is clearly not for me, this boating lark. Again, the weirdest thing is, is how you steer without actually looking in the direction you're going. I've hit about, sorry. I've probably almost had about 10 near misses. I can tell those people over there laughing. But yeah, this is a um, tiny little boat, cost me nine pound for the hour. And uh, yeah, it does the job. Just very difficult to um, to use these because they keep slipping out, <laughs> which means I keep doing that. And obviously every time I move, it keeps slipping. Yeah, definitely come on the mirror and give it a try. I don't think I'll be boating anytime soon. I can't do it very well. It's a bit like rubbing your hand on your head and your belly at the same time to try and get the motion right. Some people can do it with ease, but you just can't tell where you're going. And I've just discovered, thankfully, that I can actually put this in the water and feel the ground. So, you know, if I can't steer it, if I can't do it properly, I can push it along. I just went into those reeds. 
no matter how many times I try to get away from these reeds, I just keep coming back. So on the whole, a lot of fun. It cost me around about nine pounds for half an hour. Obviously you can get bigger boats and I would suggest getting a bigger boat because it's a lot more um, secure than this one. I've ended up in the reeds, but that doesn't matter. I'm gonna go back now and we're gonna to head towards Albra. Please, as always, make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.